How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and now this video is going to be straight up just market advice uh, and pretty much going to try to help you guys out understanding uh, how the market should be treated right now because the game just started of course officially it is out now in the deluxe and great 8 edition October 13th we have finally made it apologize you know due to my, my voice right now is kind of shot I've been streaming like five six hours a day over on Twitch follow my Twitch guys Henry because that links in the description I'm live there every day starting from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. at least every night so you don't want to miss those streams uh, but let me tell you uh, the market's very very interesting right now you gotta make sure uh, you're not buying things you shouldn't be buying selling things you probably shouldn't be selling it's very very important okay so the content came out today uh, they were prime times Lundquist Jake Allen Kapanen uh, Stasny Sakara, Spezza, Cahoon, Dylan, Bork, Rahula, Cormier, and Moiser. All right, so these cards are fine. They don't really mean too much here for this video. I feel like these cards are probably going to go for a little bit more than they should, so I wouldn't really be buying them. But the moment of truth, guys. The moment of truth. People will be asking me, oh, should I, should I buy an Icon collectible? Should I sell my collectible? Should I do this? Should I do that? Okay, 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 okay. So we go over to the mark the market right now, the auction house. Here we go. Browse the auction house. Here we go. So right now there's 13,000 cars in the market. And uh, let's actually go over to the collectibles right now. Uh, let, let's let's go one thing at a time. We'll do the icon collectibles here. Alright, and there's 50 on the market right now. The cheapest up right now is 40. Looks like 7k. 45k actually, it's kind of a steal. Um Okay. What I would say right now about the Icon collectibles, uh, they are, they're, they're really settling in right now. Uh, I would not be, I would not be quick to, to really buy these, that's for sure as well. I mean, I feel like, I, I would, I would, actually, it's just so tough because it really depends, like, how easy it is to pull these, these Icon collectibles. Honestly, I think right now might be a decent time to buy them, actually. Uh, at 45k they're not bad uh i feel like uh what's really underrated right now and undervalued are the gold collectibles the icon collectibles i truly believe are more valuable than the gold collectibles as of right now but we don't know what the, the event's gonna be the best advice i can really give you guys is i probably would hold on to your collectibles i really would uh like right now i can see the golds here oh sorry actually uh the golds the golds are actually very cheap right now sorry absolutely I think if anything, I really think low key guys, low key buying gold collectibles could be a W right now because uh, at the end of the day, these gold collectibles, they're gonna be used for the master set cards that are gonna come out on Friday, we assume. So I feel like probably buying these gold collectibles would be a very, very good investment because you could turn out to make one of those new master sets that are 89 overall, 90 overall, and uh, you know they're not looking too expensive. We just don't know how much, you know how many you're gonna need to trade in, but. Uh, the gold collectibles right now are very cheap, so I personally think the gold collectibles could be something you guys look at to purchase uh, and maybe even resell. The maximum you can sell these are for 50k though, but right now I find it stunning that gold collectibles are going for like 37k right now. That's that's extremely low. It's extremely extremely low, uh, and I feel like it's gonna certainly go up slightly. It'll be at least 45 to 50k. There's no way that these are gonna be under 40k when the master set. Uh, you know, they come out the event. I just doubt it. I, I highly doubt it. All right. So another big question that people have been asking me as well are the players. Should I sell him? Should I do that? All right. So what I'm going to really give you guys advice for is your 80, your 81 to 80, I'd say four players. Okay. I would be selling these guys probably on, I would say probably sell these guys on Saturday. Okay. Now the thing is why I say Saturday uh, is because... Packs are going to be coming out soon. Packs come out tomorrow. Rival packs come out tomorrow. Uh, squad battles come out on Thursday. Friday, a new event starts. People are going to buy packs. So players are going to keep going down in price. Uh, either you want to sell these cards right now or you want to wait till Saturday. Do not sell any of these, like this overall range. Uh, you know, don't wait is, is what I'm saying. Like Panarin, right now, what's he going for? Let's see. Panarin is, is looking like a decent amount right now. He's looking at about 30k. Uh, Panarin, that's that's a pretty good price right now for Panarin. I I would consider maybe selling that if I were you guys. 30k is is pretty good for Panarin. I, I really do think so. Uh, but 
I mean, yeah, it, it just all depends, really. It all depends on the, on the card. Uh, Lion A, looks like he's going for a decent amount. I feel like a lot of these players are going to go down in the next few days. Or Sorry, when the event and the new packs come out. The like Kane's over like 40k right now. It's, or 35k, sorry. Uh, it's pretty pretty decent for him right now. And I could definitely see this card going under 30k uh, as of tomorrow, even. Because of the rival rewards, people take tradables. And just people take coins. People are going to be able to buy cards easier as well when they have more coins. So, I mean, it's... It's very difficult, but I think the, the real, the play is, is uh, probably not to buy right now, but uh, if, you, if you really want, you want to try to sell, probably just try to try to sell these guys here. What I do think, though, is buying higher end cards is a, probably a good play, like the 85, the 87s. Now, I think this is the play. So, like McDavid, let's say, McDavid's going for about uh, 100, like 100 something K here, like 150K ish, okay? So that's pretty reasonable for McDavid. Uh, his max price is 200k, but I feel like McDavid could go up to 170, 180 maybe. Uh, right now he is simply flooded on the market. Uh, this McDavid is, uh, he's gonna be very, very cheap right now. I think McDavid, if you have a McDavid, wait to sell him until Saturday uh, or Sunday, just a weekend in general. Uh, I do not believe it's a good idea right now uh, as we stand to be selling your McDavid because I mean, there's just so many in the market. 21's a lot, it really, really is. 21's quite a few. What about Crosby? Crosby, I'm assuming similar uh, price here. Uh, let's see right here. Yeah, Crosby's are out. Actually, wow. Okay. Yeah, I would I would definitely not sell Crosby right now. 100k for Crosby to me is very cheap. 99k. Yeah, no Crosby. Crosby, don't don't be uh, selling him right now. Don't do that. Do not sell Crosby. If you want to buy Crosby, this could be the play though. This could be the time. But definitely do not sell it. That is extremely extremely low. 100k. I I don't know how it's even possible. Uh, here's Belfour. It's, it's really mm, Matthews. That seems like a pretty good price for Matthews as well. He's going for like 45 or a little under. 38. Wow, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. For someone who has a great shot, yeah, that's that's a pretty good card, honestly, for a decent, decent price, I feel. Uh, Marshan, I feel like I'm going to see him going down. Marshan's... Marshan... Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. 24k, because uh, his speed's only 83. His shot's not even that amazing, so... Makes sense for Marshan to not be uh, as expensive. Um, Sanko should be a really good card. Yeah, Sanko's a good card. I I'm assuming his price should be uh, pretty, pretty up there. Yeah, like you can pretty much tell like what cards. If anything, Sanko might go up a little bit. Uh, Crosby definitely will go up. McKinnon, what's he going for? McKinnon, I think. McKinnon, McKinnon will go up. Yeah, McKinnon, McKinnon will be a little bit more than 70k. Probably maybe to like 80k. I could see on the weekend. It's just my guess. I mean, guys, I guess a full disclaimer. I mean, just what I'm saying right now, it doesn't mean it's going to guarantee to happen. It's just my opinion. I'm not like a, a market lord, but uh, I feel like I, I have a, a good idea of uh, typically what's going to happen here. Uh, Dowdy, Kobertar. Kobertar can probably go down if anything. This card's a little, little overrated. Uh, Barkov. Yeah, Barkov's not not a, not a good card. Barkov's definitely not a good card. His speed is very, very bad. Uh, I can see that card, if anything, dropping as, as simply as speed as, I believe, 80. That is actually horrendous. So, you don't want that. Um, but right now, I would say, guys, hold on to your collectibles. I mean, I, I think that holding on to the collectibles would be a good idea. Uh, I do not think um, right now that you should be buying all these icon collectibles either. I think just kind of waste where the market's at in a little bit. I think it's a little too early to be making these big decisions like, oh, I'm buying that. I wouldn't be quick to build a whole team either. I wouldn't be like, oh you know, dump all your coins right onto a team because players can lose value. I think except for like McDavid, Crosby, uh, some 85s, they're going to lose value. Uh, like, I, I don't know, like an 84, that'll be going down very quickly because especially when there's a new event that's going to come out on Friday, like definitely like a Panera is going to go down in price probably. Like it's it, it just more than likely it will. Uh, Headman, Stone definitely will probably go down in price even more. Yeah, this card is not even that amazing, honestly. Stone will probably be under 10K uh, in, in the next few days. O'Reilly, same idea. 84s, I definitely would I would avoid Couturier as well. I, I wouldn't really want to have uh, too many of these guys. I mean, they're just they're gonna go, they're gonna drop. They're just really gonna drop, and they're gonna drop quickly. So uh, I, I think Couturier would be a good idea to probably sell as well. I mean, these cards they're not gonna hold value for much longer. They're just simply not. So yeah, I mean, I, I would be very smart of, of selling your 84s and lowers probably right now, uh, and I would definitely hold on to your if they're a good 85 or something like that. You know, wait for a couple. Couple, couple days. Uh, I, I just don't think. I mean, 
Barkov is obviously a bad one. It, it just depends. It really just depends on the card. Ask me in the comment section down below uh, what you guys think. Like, what well, not what you guys think, but uh, what card you have and if you should sell them or not or collectibles. Any type of market advice, I'll give you my honest opinion in the comment section down below. Please ask me. I'm here to help you guys. Uh, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I mean, right now I got 167k. I'm not doing anything with it. That's another thing. If you have coins, I would not be buying too many things either. Hold your coins. Wait a little bit to eventually buy good cards, good consumables, and all that good stuff. Also known as collectibles and all that. It's very important. I just don't think it's important to rush right now uh, to buy all the all the new cards. I mean, again, if you want like a McDavid or Crosby, that's not going to lose value for a little bit. That You'll have McDavid and Crosby have their value probably for at least a month. Most of these other cards are going to drop very quickly because 84s are going to come out. 87s will come out right away, though. It, it, that 87s can take a little bit of a month. Say, like, our Carlson, he goes up plus one, 86. You know, it's not... Or just another example of, like, Shifley. He becomes an 85, right? And, and Crosby's still 87. McDavid's 87, so he's still better and more valuable than Shifley, right? So that's what I'm essentially saying, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Henrik with three E's. Join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers. I'll see you all in the next video.